Hey everyone, Lori Ballin here in Las Vegas, Nevada with Lori Ballin team at Keller Williams. And today I'm going to make you a video on how to generate seller leads online. So I just did a two hour in-depth class. This video is not going to be that, but I'm going to break down the main components of what it is that we can do to generate more leads through our real estate agent websites. In my two hour class, I got into everything from TikTok, YouTube, all kinds of social media strategies. You can check that out if you're interested in joining at balanacademy.com. You can buy the playback or you can join as a VIP and get instant access to all my courses, plus the invites to my paid events as well. So, we're going to focus mostly today on the real estate agent website part of that. Okay. Now, one thing that I think is very important that you understand is that more sellers go to an agent that they know, or that someone knows, or that is well known in the neighborhood or within a work environment, something like that. They're more likely to go to their peers for a real estate agent than they are to go online. Whereas a buyer starts online quite often. They're Googling what credit score is needed to buy a house, how much down payment do I need? What can I afford? That kind of thing. And then they're actually serving for properties. And then they usually will reach out to the real estate agent to, to inquire about a specific property. At least that is what I've seen in my experience working with search engine optimization, ranking on the search engines. Now, social strategies, YouTube and all that aside, this is this is how it kind of works for a real estate website specifically. How that being said, there still are potential sellers that start going online to look for a couple of things. One, they want answers to specific questions. They're looking up how long does it take to uh, buy a house? What are close or to sell a house? What are closing costs when selling a house? Who pays the agent commissions? If they've never sold a house, they may be Googling those types of questions. Okay. So questions is going to be one major spot. And I'm going to show you where to find some of those in a couple of minutes. Another thing that they're doing is they're looking up information about the real estate market. And if you are the agent that they find when they're looking up the real estate market report on Google, then you're likely to get somebody landing on your website, looking at the market and then potentially clicking through on your offer, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and then they become a lead. Okay. So those couple of things, questions about the process and home values and market and the real estate market in general, those are the things that they're looking up and home values tops those. They're oftentimes just trying to figure out how much they might get if they actually sell their home. Okay. Now what you're looking at here, this is one of my real estate agent websites. And this is a WordPress platform. And I'm showing you this because in a minute, I'm going to talk about the offers that I make on my websites. Okay. Now, if you don't have a real estate agent website or you are badly in need of a new one, especially one that is an asset that you own, talk to my brothers, Jeff and Paul Helvin. You can find them over at balanbrands.com. They build these websites. They also integrate some of the tools that I'm going to talk about today and can get you all set up with your real estate website so that you don't have to think about how do I build this? How do I design this? I happen to be somebody that builds websites. Most real estate agents are not. Okay. So if you need that, talk to my brothers. Now, how the, how, how this works basically is this. Somebody will go over to Google and they'll type something in like, um, what are closing costs when selling my house in Las Vegas? That's not an exact way that they would phrase that question. But that's what I often use to find this article because I know it off the top of my head. The first few spots they find here are advertisements. And as you can see, it's all ads above the fold. That's what we call what's in the desktop window before we start scrolling. That would be above the fold. 
and I'm on a desktop right now, there is a good chance that pe there, there's going to be some clicks on those. We also know that a lot of people ignore those and they scroll down. So you want to be showing up at the top of the organic search results, okay? Organic meaning you're not paying to be on the search engine. You've earned your way in. So this is my spot here, the very top one. So I get a lot of the clicks on that page. Okay, now underneath here, you have the people also ask box, how much is closing costs on house in Las Vegas? If you click that, then they'll start seeing other people's answers related to specific things. And sometimes, there I am again, sometimes you can also land a spot in that uh, question and answer box, which can also be beneficial. So answering these questions on a blog post can help you generate more traffic when people are searching around for these types of questions. In addition, you can take these questions that are showing here. The reason why they're showing is Google is showing us what people are typing into the search engines. Can a seller refuse to pay closing costs? Now, that is probably a buyer question. So I would probably save that one for a buyer blog. But these are very, um, these can be answered in a Q&A section, in a frequently asked questions section on your blog itself, or they can be blogs themselves. They can also be videos. They can be social posts. They can be drip emails. They can be all kinds of things. So I would suggest going down and taking a look at these questions and seeing if you have answered them in relation to your blog when you're working on that, okay? All right, so that's, this is basically how it works. What they do then is they click through and they land on my website. How much are closing costs when selling a house? Now, in my case, I have a video and I, I'm just going to highly, highly recommend that if you or somebody on your team is willing to get on camera or your broker, your, um, uh, your lender, your home inspector, your home stager, anybody like that that you can get on camera, the more you can personalize and be an expert and tell a story, the more likely you are to generate more leads because when people watch your videos, they feel like they trust you. They know they feel like they know you and people are more likely to trust you if they feel like they know you. So creating these videos and answer these questions and putting those on YouTube and also putting it in a blog form and then sharing that out on a social media is a fantastic strategy for repurposing one piece of content and turning it into multiple pieces of content, okay? So video, I highly re recommend, but if you're not gonna do video, this is a quick idea of how this works. So I basically open the blog with a little intro and then I always have a video or a picture or a graph or something visual up top. And then a call to action, a CTA. The call to action is where you give them a command, if you will, directions. You give them instructions on something that they need to do to get an item of value you have an offer of some sort. This is called a lead magnet. When you make an offer for your lead magnet, you include a call to action like get now, call now, download, click here, get started, get your, you know, so I'm offering them to get their free estimate now. The button is kind of an embedded call to action implying that you need to click it doesn't actually say click, but it implies that you need to click to get it, okay? So that's one reason why I really like buttons because they, everybody pretty much knows, even over an underlined link, people understand a button does something, right? So when they click this offer, they are taken to my lead magnet. Now, in this particular case, my lead magnet is my home value calculator, okay? You may not like these, and I understand real estate agents don't love these instant home values because they're so off, right? And Zillow started these, and Zillow, the Zestimate still powers most of these. 
And it's fine because what, what Zillow did is they did all of the branding, all the commercials, they made, they made sellers aware that an estimate is a, is, is a valuable thing that they can find out. So now we can kind of ride that wagon and take advantage of it by making sure that we are also offering that estimate. Whether you like it or not, the sellers want it. They know it's there. So this is an item of value. Now, I rarely will just go onto Facebook and run an ad saying what your home is worth. And the reason for that is because when somebody is sitting on a social, when they're on social media, they're there to look at their stream. What are people doing? They're looking at cats and dogs, what people are having for dinner, and they're checking in on Aunt Susie and whatever else, right? And all of a sudden they get slammed with an ad. Well, if that ad is super relative to them, like in my case, uh, I'm buying, I just bought a house and I'm buying another house. Um, the, the last one for my mother and then this one for me to live in. I am now very interested in bar stools and, and furniture and, and decor for my house. So I've been doing a lot of surfing online for these decorative items. Well, because of how the algorithms work, Facebook knows that, and it is now showing me items that are relative to what I'd be looking for. I'm likely to click through and very likely to even buy something. But when you just smack an ad out there and, and with, with housing, we, we're not allowed to use the interest targeting, any, um, interest targeting at some level, but we can't use the demographic targeting and all that that we were once doing. You, it's, it's really much more of just a guess. And when you put that ad out there and you're interrupting the newsfeed and you're saying, what's your home worth? You're going to get a whole bunch of people that fill this out that have no interest in selling their house. Yeah. They, they're not even, they're not, they, they just bought it or they might actually put in their boyfriend's house or their ex, ex girlfriend's house or their boss's house, their neighbor's house. They're just curious. And so you get a whole bunch of really bogus information and people that have no interest in selling. I'm not saying that that can't still work if you're willing to spend the money, do the time and work off low conversion rates, right? But the way I do it, this person who's clicking through on closing costs, they're clearly, they're Googling how much are closing costs from selling a house or something along those lines. They are my target audience. They are interested in selling a house. So that is a much better approach in my opinion than just, posting something like that on Facebook. Okay. I'm not opposed to Facebook ads. I just don't think that particular one works really well in that it did at one time, but not so, not so much anymore. Okay. So they filled out this home valuation request. And then what happens is they get an instant home value estimate emailed to them. They get it in their browser. It, it immediately takes them there. So the, the, they are instantly satisfied because they are receiving what you promised and it's all automated. Okay. Now this is being populated by a tool, which I'm going to give you a link because you're going to get an extra double free trial. And I'm going to put it below in the description, but it's listings to leads.com listings to leads.com slash ballon. That's my last name, B as in boy, A-L-L-E-N. So listings to leads.com slash Valen. When you click there, you're going to see Lori Valen invites you to a 30 day free trial versus the 14 days everybody else gets. So my suggestion is that you click over here, get the free trial, start playing around with that landing tool, with that landing page. Now, not only do you get the landing page, you get listing marketing tools, open house tools, bots, and all kinds of things. It's absolutely ridiculously incredible <laughs> what you get when you get listings to leads. Social media marketing, other landing pages besides the um, home value, free report landing pages, uh, landing, landing pages, not landing pages, landing pages. You get automated seller lead ads. You get down payment assistant ads. You get social media ads. You get shared content seller lead generation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's absolutely outstanding. This is a tool that I have had and have paid for since, geez, I don't even know, 2010-ish. And although the way I've used the tool has changed because of access to other 
things within broker tools and whatnot. The one thing that I've never moved away from is the uh, home value landing page. And I use that across all of my real estate agent websites. I have more than one and I love it. Okay, so check that out and get your free trial. Now, over time, I have established a relationship with the owners of Listing Sleeves, and I do now benefit when somebody makes a purchase after their free trial. No extra cost to you. All right, so that's what I'm using for the home value calculator. All right, so the concept, and I'm going to show you where to go get those questions next. The concept is answer all of the questions in a written blog form that people have related to selling a house. Okay. Now, in order for those to rank on the search engine, your website must have uh, some sort of trust and authority built up. So just creating seller articles isn't enough. You're going to want to have some sort of a content strategy. So what I often suggest in all of my trainings, and, and I know this works because this has been something I've been doing for years and years since AOL said, you've got mail I've been doing search engine optimization. But if you took your month and divided it up into one project per week, let's just say. Now, by the way, if you want to leverage this out, my brothers do this also. They, they create your content, they run your ads, they integrate your home value tools. And again, you can find them right here at balanbrands.com. Call them, talk to Paul and Jeff and just tell them, you know, say, Lori said I should do this, this, this. What does something like that cost me if I wanted to hire it out? Okay, if you can do it, you have the time in some sort of capacity, what I would suggest doing is you take your month and you divide it up into four weeks. Each week, you're going to create one piece of content. The first, and it doesn't matter what order, but I'm just going to run them off really quick. Your first one is going to be uh, some sort of buyer article. So you're going to answer a question related that buyers actually ask about the process. And again, I'm going to show you where to go get some of those in just a minute. This, then the second week I would do seller articles. Okay. So you're covering some buyers, you're covering some seller articles. And trust me, if you did this just once a month, you, it would take you years. It, it could take you a lifetime to cover all the questions that a buyer or seller is actually Googling. And I'll show you, you'll see in a second. It's amazing. Okay. So buyers and sellers. So first week is buyer, second week is sellers, and then third week is hyper local. So you're doing some sort of a best of list or a, a, you're, maybe you're doing a review of the local dog parks. Maybe you're talking about some sort of new construction that's coming in. Maybe you're talking about a new neighborhood or community or a new school or um, you're featuring the, the neighborhood play, the play at, the, at the local school or graduation or doing things like I do, which is where to go to the Easter egg hunts, where are the best places to go see Christmas lights, where's the best place to get all you can eat sushi, where is the um, dog parks is one of them that I do, um, tiny home living in Las Vegas, the airport, Uber, Lyft, like I talk about all those things, okay? Because what happens when you do this hyper local marketing is not only are you establishing your expertise and knowledge to a potential buyer or seller, whether they live in or out of your area, you are also proving expertise to Google. And Google cares today more than ever about your expertise. And the better you are about establishing your presence and your knowledge and your experience in your area, not just real estate, but also in your specific area, the more likely you are to climb the search engines and the more likely you are to beat Zillow and some of these other big brokerages when you can specifically be incredibly local or hyper-local. The difference is basically I live in Vegas, so Vegas would be considered local. And then inside Vegas, we have all of these neighborhoods or master plan communities. The one that I live in currently is called Summerlin. So Summerlin would even be more hyper-local. And then there are school zones, zip codes, neighborhoods inside of Summerlin. And then I can even drill down and even be more hyper-local. The, the better you, the more niche you are, the easier it is to rank on the search engines because you're kind of, you're moving past all of that competition and you're getting a, a, a way more narrowed focus and it's going to be much easier to rank. So for example, I have another website here called gosummerlin.com. 
And this is another Ballon Brands website. And what I do here is I cover all of the neighborhoods. I cover all the new construction. I cover the schools, the parks, the, you know, anything that's related to Summerlin specifically. And that's even a better way now to generate leads for me because there's enough uh, business here in Summerlin that I can do a big business just in Summerlin. So I want to get as many of those listing leads as I possibly can. So again, the more I talk about Summerlin, when somebody who lives in Summerlin gets on and does a Google search, Google knows who they are. They know where they are. They know where they are. They know what device they're on. There's a very good chance that they're going to match us up by moving my website up the rankings for that customer. Because it's all personalized search. You don't just rank number one, two, or three for everybody the same. It depends on their location, their device. Have they ever been on your website before? All, so many factors in this personalized search results. So it's in our benefit to really be specialists in our area in addition to real estate. So that's a big reason why I also focus heavily on hyperlocal. So week one, we said buyer. Week two, we said seller. Week three, we said local or hyperlocal. And then week four will be your real estate market report. Okay, so that's going to look like something like this. If somebody goes over to Google and they type in like Las Vegas real estate market report. Let's see where I am today on my. Okay, so this is mine right here. So look at this. I have my own set of frequently asked questions that are appearing here because I added them to my page. Even before you get to the general people also ask, Google has rewarded me with my own featured snippet by including these frequently asked questions that I put on the blog post here. So it's going to help me gain a lot more of those organic clicks, okay? Because it's an enhanced listing. So I'm gonna click over here. And again, that's all earned in, none of that's paid. So now they click over and, oh, I need to change the year. That's interesting. I changed all of this. Okay, I have to go look. I already did an updated report. For some reason, the old one is still appearing here. It might be a caching issue. Anyway, so this is the real estate market report. They can click here and they can look, read prices. They can sign up. There's that call to action again, that offer. Sign up to receive email updates, right? If they're a buyer, they can look at listings. And here's those frequently asked questions that I was mentioning that are showing up there on the search engines, okay? And so here's that home value estimate again. You see how that works? So the two things that primarily bring in seller listings from the search engines, from Google, are gonna be your seller articles and your real estate market report, okay? Now, again, you can run ads up here if somebody goes to Google and says, how much is my house worth? There's an ad, there's an ad, there's an ad, there's an ad. And then you get into the bigger uh, companies that have, you know, the Zillow's and Realtor.com's and whatnot. So you, the odds of you getting on this page organically are going to be much, much slimmer. It's going to be much more competitive and harder to rank for that phrase, how much is my house worth? But you can pay to be in those ad spots up top. And how much is totally going to depend on your market. Uh, Jeff and Paul at ballonbrands.com also run those type of ads. So if you want to get in those sponsored ad placements, you can talk to them about that. And what they would do is they would run your ad. Uh, they would charge you a service fee to maintain your Google account. And then when somebody clicks through, they would land on your landing page, your um, uh, offer, your home value offer. Okay. Now let me show you where to get these questions because I promised you that. I showed you once was right here. People also ask, right? So if you just come up here to Google and you start to type in anything like how much is real estate commission when selling a house. Okay, I just saw it, when selling a house, something like that, okay? Then down here, you can also see some related questions, okay? This is a, this is a free way of kind of looking at what people are typing in. 
Now, another really cool one is called answerthepublic.com. I've got links below to the software that I talk about today. If we go to sign in, oh, I'm not going to sign in, sorry. Um, this used to be a free tool, completely free, and now it's paid. It's a They do charge you after a certain number of searches. So it, it has turned into a paid tool. But what I can do here is I'm going to go to United States and let's type something in like selling a house and click search. Now what Answer the Public does is it goes out and it scours the web and it pulls in the searches that people are asking on forums, in chat, chat, public chat rooms, um, Google, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, wherever they're getting their data that people are, are typing questions. So then what you can do is you can just go down this data list and say, okay, is selling a house considered income? I haven't written that blog yet. Let me go write that one. Is selling a house taxable? Uh, capital gains when selling a house. Why is selling a house so stressful? That sounds like a YouTube video waiting to happen right there. Um, can you back out of selling a house, et cetera, et cetera. Now these can either be individual blogs that you write or they can be part of a, maybe it's a long form article with thousands and thousands of words and you're, you know, maybe it has 3000 words or 2000 words and you're covering four or five questions on that one blog. That's fine too. I've got other uh, lessons that teach you how to blog, but these are basically the topics. Okay. Now, one level up from answerthepublic.com, I actually think they're the same price, is SEMrush, link below to the free trial. And what SEMrush does is we, we come up here to, um, we're actually gonna drop this down to keyword, and we're gonna do sell a house, whoops. Okay, then same thing, it takes all of the search engine uh, information and it reports, this, reports it back to us with even more data. So if I click here, view all 8,114 uh, keywords, okay, then I can actually click on questions and then everything here is gonna be questioned. How to sell a house by owner? How much does it cost to sell a house? How to sell a house without a realtor? How long does it take to sell a house? Now, the why I say this is one um, better is because you also now have some numbers, some data with that. So it, it tells us like what the search volume is per month, how many people are searching per month. Right now I'm looking at the United States only, and you can look at both uh, mobile and, and desktop. You can see if that keyword is trending or that topic is trending, going up or going down. You can see the keyword difficulty score it basically says on a scale of one to a hundred, how hard is it going to be for you to rank for that term? So I will sort it by lowest up and I'll start by writing the content that has the lowest competition. And then I'll work my way up to the higher competition levels. You can see the cost per click value. And that basically tells you how valuable that keyword might be. It's just an indicator. And there you can see people are spending $14 per click for the term how to sell a house. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. $16.64 on average for how to sell a house fast. Okay, so it just kind of gives you a gauge on how, how, on how valuable people consider that term to be because they're bidding so high on it. It obviously is turning into business for them, right? And so that kind of gives us that idea. Those are basically... Um, those are basically those, the idea there. Now you can also go to social media. You can go to any forum that you use. You can go to Quora, Q-U-O-R-A.com where there's questions, any of those types of things. So the concept is get a website. It, make sure you own it. Make sure you own the website if you're going to follow any of my teachings because you want to be building, co content is an asset. It's valuable. Your website is sellable. It's monetizable. You can make money on your website. I do not recommend building search engine optimization on a broker provided website. If you ever leave that brokerage, you can't take it with you. That's not, that's not a great idea. You're basically then building something for somebody else to take and run with. Okay. So I say own your own website. So what you want to have is a host managed WordPress or a hosted WordPress ideally. And you can get that. Don't go to wordpress.com. 
you can do a do it yourself uh, package. I'll put a link below where I teach you how to build it yourself. I teach you how to get the theme. I teach you how to put IDX, the houses on there, how to get the home value calculator. So I have lessons on all of that. I'll put some links for you in this video as well. Or again, just call my brothers, Jeff and Paul and say, Hey, I need, I need Lori's website. Talk to me about what that looks like. Okay. Cause they do it all CRM funnels, text messages, lead conversion bots, ballandbrands.com is your go-to. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that was helpful. I'm Lori Ballin out here in Las Vegas, Nevada.